Hey guys, it's me, Meteor. Whenever people discuss their favorite copy abilities for the Kirby series, combo abilities are often overlooked. Whenever they are discussed, most people only focus on the ones from Kirby 64. That will not be the case here, as I will also be discussing my favorite combos from Dream Land 2 and 3. Now, combos technically exist in Squeak Squad and Star Allies, but those are basically just charging something with an element, except for maybe Chumbrella. Regardless, for that reason, we will solely be focusing on the Dark Matter Trilogy. Starting with Dream Land 2, this game introduced animal friends. Outside of having special abilities, like climbing walls, flying, and swimming, they also took Kirby's normal abilities and enhanced them. While some left a lot to be desired, others were amazing, such as Koo and Cutter. Being able to stay still in the air is already great, but being able to launch a quick three-way long-range shot while doing so? Now that's pure destruction, and quite possibly the best ability in the game. Interesting of note, in Dream Land 3, Ice replaced Cutter with this role instead. Cutter was instead changed to... being Cutter, I guess. Moving on to Kine, while a fish out of water seems like a horrible idea, he surprisingly has a couple of the most useful abilities, first of which is fire. While only shooting out one flame at a time, instead of three feathers like Ku, these flames shoot out far faster and still reach across the entire screen, moving at a speed you could even keep up with. This makes it easy to hit enemies that haven't even spawned yet. The second of note is the iconic spark. Not only is this ability able to solve puzzles no other ability or combo can, but the attack is incredible. You could either hold the light bulb in your mouth and run into stuff with it, or launch it across the screen to explode for splash damage. Probably one of the best abilities one would ever be forced to use to solve a puzzle. Also, special bonus points for being the ability that was nerfed the absolute worst in Dreamland 3. Poor Kine. As for Rick, most of his combos are... underwhelming to say the least. But how can I talk about combo abilities and not talk about Stone's Rick roll attack? Just a very fun ability to use, and he could even roll uphill. Thankfully, this ability didn't change in Dreamland 3. In fact, in the same vein, some of my favorite abilities from Dreamland 3 weren't incredibly powerful either, but very memorable. The only exception to that rule is Kine's Cutter ability. This is one of the few that was improved from Dreamland 2. While that Soundwave thing was still a good ability, it just moved and expanded very slowly. In Dreamland 3, that thing is quick and widens its range immediately. Honestly, if it is trying to mimic a sound wave, Dreamland 3's interpretation makes a lot more sense, even if it does look more like a laser in this game. Moving on, we have Nago and Parasol. While bouncing up and down like a, well, bouncy, doesn't really look too threatening, the ability is surprisingly great. Not only can you destroy enemies or blocks by landing on them, you're also invincible from above as well. Take notes, Rick. Next up is Pitch and Spark. This one is such a unique ability, I love it. Kirby controlling Pitch around like an RC plane is so much fun. Never mind defeating enemies, I could just have fun moving Pitch around. As a bonus, Pitch could even go through walls to pick things up for you this way. Honestly, I just love Pitch in general. His combos are easily the most unique of the bunch, like turn into a bucket, or referencing Alex in Wonderland. Pitch really deserves more love. Speaking of love, Choo Choo, Kirby's second best ship. While there are cute abilities that show the two enjoying a moment, my favorite one by far is Choo Choo and Clean. When I think of Dreamland 3 abilities, this is probably the first one to come to mind. It's not even a very useful ability, but it's so adorable and I love it. I could spend all day just flying around on this broom, accomplishing nothing, and I won't even be upset. And with that, it's time to move on to the game most people think of, 
when it comes to combo abilities. Kirby 64 I give HAL a lot of credit for some of the ideas they came up with in this game. Other ideas, not so much. Ice and Needle, for example, looks pretty, but outside of this one use case, the ability is otherwise useless. Ice and Spark, though, absolutely iconic. Everyone loves Fridge Kirby. What's not to love? Sure, despite being ice, it can't freeze anything. In fact, it can't break blocks either. Having a literal unlimited supply of food to restore health at any given moment, though? That's an S-tier level ability if I ever saw one. Surprisingly, it still isn't my favorite ability from this game. We'll get there, though. In the meantime, let's talk about fire and bomb. I love lighting and watching fireworks. I'm always amazed seeing what kind of patterns people could make with them. A Kirby ability based on them? One that is greatly destructive as well? How could I not love it? That range is the bomb. <laughs> Get it? Cause, <clears throat> right, moving on. Bomb and cutter. What? I just like blowing things up, all right. Doing so with an explosive shuriken though? Awesome. Sure, the fact you can't see it travel to its destination makes it harder to judge how accurate your throws are, but being as it hits the target instantly, that's hardly a problem, because usually, they are already dead. And of course, this list wouldn't be complete without my personal favorite combo ability, Spark and Cutter. How can one possibly hate this ability? It's a dual lightsaber! <clears throat> Light sword. As a huge fan of sci-fi, seeing this made me nerd out hard. Outside of how awesome Kirby looks and sounds spinning it around, it's quick, snappy, and overall a blast to use. Really, I feel like Mecha Knight could have greatly benefited from something like this rather than a scorpion tail, but that's a different topic entirely. In any case, that just about sums up my favorite combo abilities. Next time, I'll be discussing what you guys may be most interested in, modern abilities. See you guys next time.